My boss is operating in the future. He's living <laughs> in 3022, mate. He's playing 4D chess. You're laps kidding. around the sun, mate. Yesterday, he went to the bakery of the road. Okay. Got a pie for lunch. Oh. Got a second pie. Put it in the fridge. You're hey, kidding. it up for lunch today. That is- that Mate, is 4D chess. Four, that is the best. Yeah. I'll tell you what else is the best. The, the first podcast? slide. Yeah. yeah. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Hello, friends and hello, foes, and welcome- to the Comedian Arts Podcast. It's a podcast we tried to start when we were millions of years old, like dinosaurs. That's and right. And here we are, nine million years later in the future, modern man here nine to Nine million you a years later in the future. My name is Josh, and joining me today <laughs> is a man who's wearing his grape jumper again. It's I John am wearing the grape. This time it's actually it's grape. It's actually grape. This time it's actually no, grape. It's more of a lavender. I followed it's, it up. It's this more time. of a lavender. You, you, you did follow it. I like yeah, I tell you what you. they call that. A callback. Oh, I don't know if it's meant to be comedy? in separate episodes. Wait, are we supposed to be doing comedy? Oh, or shit. How's that work? I redact that. <laughs> redact wasn't a callback. It was no, just, no, no, it was no, just no. something that happened. Anyway, I'd like to put a disclaimer on this episode. Sure. If you hear really loud Adele music, it's not us. It's Look, our next door neighbor. We're, we're, He's we're, going through some shit. It's, it's like 50 50 chance yeah. that we're going to get at the podcast on spot on YouTube isn't going to come out anyway. <laughs> so, what does it even matter? If you just hear it in the background. It's not that I've just left my phone playing the music I normally play before yeah, no, I go no, to no. bed. It's uh, it's it's bro next door. Trust me, mate. It's bro next door. <laughs> nah, she's fine. What? What's on the podcast today, Jono? Well, you're kicking it off. I've got a new segment. New oh, segment. This is a segment. It's a segment. I'm excited for this. It's a segment with a twist. With a twist. And like lots a, of like little a, bits. Like a twisty twist? A little twist. Yeah. What, sure. what do, we, do we get any information about what it is? Or oh, well, we it's all out? about my trip I had to a place where I'm not used to. And oh. you, was, you, you You're exclaimed. You're an icy pole in an oven. <laughs> I was an icy pole in an oven. We'll talk about that we'll in a second. We'll talk about it later. What's after all that, right. Johnny? Well, Halloween has just gone by. Oh. And I don't get it. We'll talk I, about I don't that, get it. We? We're just going to have a have a, have a a chit chat. It do be like that. Because huh? Halloween do be acting funny. Do be acting funny. Jono, we talked a couple of podcasts ago about, about how Ikea. Awkward. And <laughs> if there is not a <laughs> about how sorry, awkward. Sorry, it's still raw. About, still about, raw. <laughs> yeah, I was listening to it today. <laughs> Best uh, fucking episode oh I've ever God. done. Uh, anyway, we're talking about, about how, how, we're how we're awkward. Yeah. yeah. One of my awkward things you had has an ruined my office life no. forever. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you 100%. have to move companies? Are you I, leaving? If I can move, I will move. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Anyway, I've been thinking a lot about job interviews recently for no reason. No, no reason. No. I mean, I was just <laughs> saying, how I was wondering. We're just, we're just talking about interviews nah. for no reason. And no, no way. There's a job no interview way. I had many year ago. Uh, about two years ago, maybe one year ago. A it, similar day. It was fuck. It. No, this is a different one. <gasps> this is one I didn't get. Whoa! It was fuck, and I okay. want to talk about that. I'm excited, and um, I look forward to hearing it on the next slide. Yep. Jono, um, I wanted to just hit it straight off the ground running. I always hit it straight off the ground running. <laughs> you know it. Um, when I'm playing golf, Happy Gilmore, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've never watched that movie. So Neither have I. But I don't expect I'm just you to. I'm just, that <laughs> yeah, Happy Gilmore, it's golf. Yeah, yeah. that's about as much as and I, I know. think he runs up to it. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he hits that's the crazy. ball running. That's cr- no. That's, I work that on another level. From? I'm playing 4D <laughs> chess out here. You're just like your boss. Yeah. <laughs> but, Two peas um, in a pod. I found myself. In the eastern suburbs. Yeah. I, I spend tweeted, a lot of time I, in the eastern suburbs. I did eastern a B-wheel suburbs. from it yeah, on the weekend. Did. I saw you on, at a uh, South Yarra train station. South Yarra station. And there's train only station. one reason you'd be in South Yarra train station. Which is? If you're heading east. Yeah, and it's true. And I was, I was going confused. far east. I was very confused. <laughs> and, and you're right, because it's such a weird place for me and my brand and yeah. where, we, Look, where we are now to be on that side. And to be honest, it's like a wild, weird world it out is. there. Look, my opinion of the eastern suburbs. Everyone says it's the best, right? right? But when I come, I spend most of my days there. That's where I work in a yeah. must, in a must be nice area. But even <laughs> though it's a must be nice area, every time I get off the Eastern Freeway and I'm back in the inner city in the northern suburb, I'm home. I'm oh, happy. We don't belong in the Eastern. I don't suburbs. feel. I don't feel good in no. there. It's weird, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because I went to a. A fundraiser by my by my friend's girlfriend. Yep. It was a lovely yep. little time. We had a good time. What, I've what never suburb? Been to a fundraiser. Do you know what suburb it was? Brighton. Oh, far east. Yeah, it's a must be nice. Yeah. Must be nice. Well, in an eastern suburb, there. Must in order be nice. to recount that, yeah. I have I've thought of a segment. Oh, great! And I'm going to give you a bit of build up to the segment, and okay. then we'll do the segment because it's the always segment. good to hype it up. And yeah, 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 for sure. I've sure, knocked sure. something <laughs> out. Oh, it's my headphones. We're all fine. They can still hear me. Just keep going. The segment. This. 
Are you feel? Does it feel weird? Yeah, I've got my noise cancelling <laughs> headphones on, so I can't actually <laughs> hear you. Anyway, we're back in. Uh, we're so back this, in. So, seg, so the segment is called Josh's Three Things. Oh, okay. So I'm going to give okay. you, it's just a speed round of three things. Oh, fantastic. But here's the thing. It is, to be honest, let's be honest, just a live segment. Yeah. Okay, but here's the thing. Hey, I, it doesn't have to be no, a speed round. it's my segment. Yeah. It's got my name to it. If someone wants to take it from me, can I do Josh's three things? You can challenge me to oh. have your name on the three things. No, I'll just keep your and name will, on it. But and I no will challenge. Re- I'm telling you, I'm talking to honestly you, potentially yeah. people that are listening. You're going to do a redux. I will redux it if someone if someone wants to challenge like me on, re- on changing the segment. Well, let's jump into it. Let's go. Josh's three things. I've got three things. Yes, that's enough that I want to share my three things you'll want to know, but no one can take away my show. It's more of a segment. It is more of a segment. Yeah. I Do you know what that song is? I, I thought, yeah, what about me? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was, tr- I was looking at it. I couldn't tell if you knew it or not. I was I was oh, singing that song with the bloke banger. next door um, only oh, only I'm sure. mere minutes ago. I can only assume. <laughs> yes, I've got three things that yes. happened to me. Yes, three bits of information. That's great. Can you? Do you want to guess where the, when the last? I so I made my way out to Brian. The people the have a poll up their ass. Hmm? Number one, <laughs> before. Before I talk about, because yeah. I'm going to be honest, most of my stories are from the public transport. Yeah, okay, okay. As you may expect. Can I say something about public transport? This may be contrast what, uh, what you have okay, to say. Okay, go ahead. I think it's the best public transport in fucking Melbourne. There is some nice public they're, transport. The trains, man. They're, trains they're like are Gucci nice. trains. I didn't get yeah. a Gucci oh, train. Oh, mate. I got a crap train. They have like a button and the door opens rather get, than pulling I it. I did not get that. Oh, mate. But let me tell you, yeah. the last time... I found myself at Brighton train station. I yep. thought for the first thing, mm. I'd, I'd pull you back to you. Do you remember when we did that like public transport game? Yes. Yeah. You know when the last time I, I this is the last time you I found- You went to Sandringham. Yeah, no, but I started by getting my the oh, train out to so, Brighton. You got to explain to the people what we so did. So this is, this is a little game. And honestly, it might be something we played. I want to do it again. This is a fun game. Should. Yeah, yeah, This yeah. segment is basically the segment. Yeah. <laughs> the game is, is uh, like a- like who can get furthest away from one point? Yep, in the same amount of time for sure. So I, the idea I think is our rule was only public transport. Yep, and you yep, had to take two, at, least at least two different two different kinds, two different kinds, like See, a bus and a train or a train and a train. Is, yeah, the difference is you can yep. you can go whatever direction you want. Yeah, but you're trying to get the most amount of kilometers away yeah. from that one point. I think we started at Southern Cross Station. No, we started at Flinders Street, and we oh, we we, bo- we bo- picked bo- a line. We both picked a line for the other person to take. You. Very nicely picked a line that went to Southern Cross for me, so I used right, one train. Yeah, sure, one train to get there, and then I just got on a V line and, and into fucked the off. Country. And then I took a bus one stop to and then meet you the run. criteria. Didn't you have to run? Oh yeah, because I took a bus to one stop, and one stop in the country is like twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. then I realized that I had like. 15, 20 minutes until the train left and it was the so last train of the day. Down this so I just had road. to sprint down the highway right. to get back. And I found myself, I caught, like, then I zigzagged into Sandringham. Yeah. This is the last time I've been to Brighton. That's my first thing. Yes. That's great. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank that's you. That's a good thing. That's a first. It was like a, a, like a, a thought thing. starter in, yeah, thank in, you. in primary school. My second school. thing. Yeah. I was on the train. Yeah. We're going to just go through. So, second yeah. thing, I was on the train and there was a. Elderly man in one of those um, mobility oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, machines. Yeah. Yep. And he's sitting there and he's looking a bit <laughs> like, like the, a- Like the electric scooter that they're like driving. He looked yeah. like a grumpy old plum. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in in it, a mobility scooter. I feel like every eastern suburb suburb has one of them. <laughs> and then he's sitting there and I watch another guy in a mobility scooter. Oh, the nice. Same car. And this is in that From the area- neighboring suburb. No, but it's in the same area where like the where there was lots of space. What, what are you on? A train? On a train. Yeah, and they yeah, yeah. like they get stuck and they're like- <laughs> <laughs> they, and I watched them for about a solid minute. Were they going no like, conversation? Or it, or no or conversation or immediately. It. Yeah. And I see like one of them, and then it's just the awkward conversation. Were they facing each other? No, they're one of them standing facewards, and the other one's sliding perpendicular to them. Sitting in the in the. They're scooter. both sitting yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. the scooter. Yeah. One of them that can't actually move because <laughs> he's wedged they, in. He's, he's wedged in. He's got a parallel park. The other one that can't go shit. any other direction. Yeah. So they've just moved him in. The guy has to keep coming around to take the the. Who's the, the guy? The, ramp, the driver. The driver of the train has to, yeah. the driver of the train has to keep coming 
coming around to get the lamp in there. <laughs> and so they're sitting there. And by the end of it, they look like they got friends. Yeah. They came with friends. Mate, because you're in a shit situation <laughs> and There's you want to have a chit chat. The awkwardness do- stems through all yeah. generations, Jono. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It does. Thank you. That's my second thing. Wow. The studio audience is loving it. I think this is a great time. Yeah. And my final thing. Is it Eastern it Suburbs off, related? This is Eastern Suburbs okay, related. Nice, nice. Because it's on the train again. Oh, nice. And this is what I imagine people in Eastern Suburbs expect um, transport here to be like. Oh, okay. I'm sitting in okay. the train seat. So to to, distru- to describe it to you, yeah. I'm right at the front of the train. Yep. It's You're driving, me. yeah? Yeah, I'm yeah, driving. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. full pelt You got that through. steering wheel. Yeah, I want to go straight just into the holding it ocean. real straight. I want to yeah. go straight yeah, yeah, yeah. into the water. Beautiful. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm like probably about five seats. I'm in the middle of like the two entrances and exits from the tram. Gotcha, train. gotcha. I'm in the middle yeah. of one of those sections. In front of me, there's a bunch of sections. I've walked past them. I haven't really noticed what's there. Yep. And then in front of me, there's the two old people. They end up getting out. And I'm yep. still sitting there. <laughs> nice. Did they have to back <laughs> off? Beep, beep, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, just see. Boop, 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 boop. That is phenomenal. Yeah, this is, and the guy, the train, the train uh, conductor, that's what they are. I, I don't think they're called conductors. No, train conductor. <laughs> train conductor. Was he wearing a bowler hat? No, but do they have to? <laughs> maybe I they think, do. I, think I mean, so. uh, maybe, maybe based on. Um, Thomas the Tank Tank Engine Law. Reviewing you, reviewing you, Thomas the Tank Engine coming in hot. Reviewing you, reviewing me. Yeah, for sure. And and so um, I'm I'm sitting there. And there's like yep. me. You got the blank gear seat. stick. Yep. I think there's two other blank seats and there's a and there's a couple. Okay. And yep. out of nowhere, again, I had not noticed anything. I assumed I walked past three empty seats. Yeah. A guy stands up. Yeah. He's got. An eye patch, oh, a gigantic sick. beanie that's like all like up here, like a nice, bunch of empty nice. headphones around his shoulders, yep. tattooed everywhere. That's a bunch of man tattoo. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> a big machete. And it's like, this is, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He looks and he like turns around, he says something to this couple, and a yeah. poor couple, I don't know what I'm they gonna do. <laughs> Walks out, I'm like, oh, that was a bit weird. Yeah. Top it all off. Yeah, I see him pull out a scooter and start scooting off down Mate, the platform. That's something you would expect to see at the mall and hotel at seven a.m. You know in the stuff, morning. Just for, you know what stuff he got out of balaclava. Yeah. <laughs> phenomenal. Thank phenomenal. you very much. What an what an excellent introduction into your uh, your escapades in the in the eastern suburbs. Anything else? Any other comments? Uh, I think I'll catch the bride and train to the next slide. Halloween do be acting funny. Hello me, hello mean, hello mean, hello it's mean. It's acting so funny. It's We're, so funny. Do you know much about it? Um, no. Can you like? I don't even know how to go about what so it it's even a, it's is. The concept Im- of Halloween, it's based off, uh, like the um, I don't know what it is. Because this is the part I don't know. I've got, I I've got the definition up. Like I want to see how close uh, to the pin we can get. I don't know what the thing is called, but it's like the um. Is it like? People coming back the from harv- the dead it's like or something. It's a harvesty festival thing. Oh, is that the pumpkins? The pumpkins. It's I a harvesty festival. I tell you how up until right deal. now, I thought the pumpkins just existed because they're orange and it's kind of scary. There's a name that I can't think of, so I'm not going to okay, try. So, but is it to do with dead people? Not necessarily. I think I bet it's like to do with like you know like the um, pagans or something. All right. I well, bet it's stolen from pagany stuff. I've, I've pulled up the definition Please. because I think in order to have a Halloween segment, we got to at least have, a, yeah, have a, sure. a basic understanding of what a Halloween segment is. Go ahead. So it says it's on the eve of the Western Christian feast of All Saints Day, and it begins the observance of Allo Al Hallow Tide. Hello, El, hello, Tide. It, it's a time dedicated to remembering the dead. I, I, I okay. To, I knew it was that something would, to do with the dead. The thing is, like, I'm going to be honest. I would, I would know more about like the, you know, like Day of the Dead from like Mexico. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I had similar, in my head. I get a similar vibe. I think vibes. it's the same time. Yeah. Right? It said the dead and spiritually departed. I assume so. Yeah, spiritually but departed. Yeah. With, with Halloween, this this is my thing, right? Go this, ahead. This is my problem with Halloween. I'm walking around, admittedly, in the hail because it was hailing. I was going to say, yeah. raining like nobody's <laughs> yeah. business. Absolutely mental. Maybe and like three people I saw come up to, to my house. Mate, I reckon oh, that, that was the, that's a good thing about being in an apartment. Yeah, true. No, no one comes in. I was in. in my parents' house yeah. for, that, yeah. for that night. Did you have like a pumpkin or a balloon on the have, front we, porch? No. Because that seems to I be the system. I don't know what it was, but my brother was like, we're going to do it. So like we... We ended up planning. I don't know what we had in the front to assume. Yeah. I also think people just end up walking around. Because here's the thing, Jono. Yeah. I remember being like 
just on the edge of being teenager. Yeah. And people going, yeah, we should do this. And walking around. Did and you people do not- it? I remember trying to get it, uh, make it a thing. Wow. And never being an actual You've thing. trick or treated. I kind of trick or treat. How many years I think did I, you do it for? This I is think, fascinating. No, thing. I don't think I would count myself as a trick or treater. Really? But I think I accompanied did, did a bunch of people. Did you trick or treat? I was in that old level where you like, hung at the back. I I was like following you didn't a bunch go of people up onto the porch who were younger than me. But you stayed in the driveway, and I was with a bunch of younger people, so I was yeah. letting them go, and I sat. You there. with a bunch of younger and I was, people. Whoop, whoop. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Call the. Okay. This listen. is what I worry about, you know. But yes, so you didn't. You didn't actually like knock on the door. Fifteen or something, and yeah. I remember. And I remember doing that. I also remember. He's a fun. I remember yeah. being like in like a caravan park one Halloween. You dressed as a I caravan. Like, for I remember Halloween. being in a caravan park one yeah. Halloween. Yeah. And we were all just sitting there, and then someone knocked down our caravan door and just had like a weird <laughs> mask. <laughs> And everyone was like, holy shit, what the hell is that? <laughs> Jason just appeared and like, at your and they door. They were expecting shit. Why yeah. do you expect that? No. Why would you expect it? Because that's what I was going to say. Like, I remember when we were in primary school and stuff, random people would just knock on the door. But the last couple of years when I was living living at home in the suburbs- Lots of people. The the, the commonly accepted like strategy was if there's nothing at your door, no one came in. Because I remember 100%. one year we're like, we've actually got all this this year. Why is no one coming in? And then we realized, oh, so I just put a balloon out the front. Then everyone started yeah, coming in. Yeah, I don't in. know what it was. I assume we had something out there. I think it's I a good system. Confirm. I think it's a good but system. But the idea is I agree that if you decorate your house, therefore then, people yeah. are allowed to come. Even if you just put like an orange ribbon on your letterbox 100%. or something. Yeah, or a sticky note saying has, come in. Yeah, just but, a sticky note. <laughs> yeah. But the rain we had, Jesus Christ. The problem I have with Halloween is right. that- it's mainly the young kids that do. I'm talking about like early primary school, like right, five, 100%. six, seven, eight, right? That's a good song. Five, six, seven. You know that song by the Steps? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I was, I was <laughs> saying, yeah, sure. Five, six, seven, eight. But they're walking around in broad daylight yeah. at 4 p.m. and they're not even dressed scary. No. Like they're dressed up as bears, Wonder Woman, <laughs> like Shark Boy what? and Lava yeah. Girl. Shark Boy <laughs> and Lava Girl. <laughs> like, Isn't that a throwback? <laughs> But there are people who are who are alive right now that don't know who Shark Boy and Lava that Girl scares was. me. <laughs> that, that scares me. We don't me. want to re- retrace the the horrible. Things I was going to say past. play the the mini clip game. Yeah, that's true. Based around, but mini clip closed Absolutely. down the other week. What the hell? Yeah, they're gone. What? Last week? You're kidding me? They shut me. down. That's nuts. But accompanying Whoa. all these nonsense. No, that's sorry. <laughs> We're gonna like hang on that for a second. Yeah. Wow. It's gone. That's nuts. All right, that enough? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> good. Accompanying all these shark boy and lava girls walking around is is two people, right? Okay, it's mum who's dressed as a witch with green <laughs> hair, and like every, I swear, it's always a thirty three year old woman dressed as a witch with the biggest pointy hat you've ever seen 100%. in your life from like Spotlight. But or here's something. the here's the yeah. where it turns into from like kids to adults, yeah. which is. Halloween parties. Yes. Oh. And like going out on Halloween. Yeah. I was walking around the city the night, the weekend it's, of Halloween. It's something else. And there were, yeah. um, how do I describe the, the, the kind of person? Um, Hmm. Like uh, if you actually were a firefighter and dressed like that to the job, <laughs> you would well, yeah, probably you burn could, to a could, cinder. Those kinds of people, yeah, people that wear like just a bunch of orange shit and like a and like a yeah, lots Halloween of orange pin, yeah, and like a little those dumb little hats, those dumb little hats. <laughs> we we all know what dumb yeah. little hat I'm talking about, right? But it, it gives you the kind of the get out of jail free one hundred percent. But I, I actually think that's kind of funny because. Yeah. You know, people our age and stuff, no one acts, no one's silly. That's an avenue when you're allowed to do it. And 100%. you're also allowed to dress up as a very badly I do equipped li- firefighter. I, I, saw, I saw one of our friends, friends of the podcast. Yeah, I don't have any Instagram, friends, so one, one of your our friends. Instagram, yeah. One of our, yeah, it was literally <laughs> our friend. Our friend, yeah. Uh, Caitlin. Yeah, yeah. Of the podcast. Don't think she's listening. Let's no, listen. no. Uh, they, they dressed up as like the office. People. Oh yeah, I did see that. that That's was, good. That was good. See, this is what I mean. Halloween, it's just like costume party. Yeah, but, but I think 100. percent I think that's when you get into like the adult side of yeah. Adult the, the is adult, a weird way to describe it. <laughs> like what us adults. It might. is adult Halloween. Let's be, <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. Be yeah. Real. Halloween let's parties are the yeah. adult Halloween thing. But with so that you got your 33 year old woman who's dressed as a witch, and then you got dad. And dad doesn't want to be there. Dad's not even right, wearing yeah. a costume. Maybe a cloak. 
<laughs> Maybe a cloak Or like yeah. one guy That's done like You know Wayne's World Yeah I know Wayne's yeah, yeah, World like, oh, Yeah true That yeah, is actually a, a common one a jeans. Yeah My dad's done that before But like actually Has Went he? to a Halloween party yeah. He also did Indiana Jones actually but Yeah Yeah yeah. But yeah, same difference in the, the end. The best costume I've ever seen, this went viral um, a couple of years ago. It was these this guy who dressed up as a door. So he'd knock on someone's door, then he'd go behind his door, they'd open, the, then the person who went out of the house would knock on his door, That he'd open his door and then go... Ah, uh, here you go, and give them lollies. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Wow, did, that's really good, the, actually. He did the, the inverse Halloween. I've never seen that, but that's really cool, actually. Yeah, oh, ab- absolutely phenomenal. 100%, that's nice. But um, that, that's my, my take on Halloween. I got one other thing got to one say. Thing? Yeah. I got one thing that for a while we've done, and we haven't done in a while, but I think it's it was post pre-COVID yeah. uh, me and my family and like me my family and like Thanksgiving. my cousin's family did you no, do Thanksgiving? we did do Thanksgiving oh. but we do like around that time we do like uh, themed parties of like everyone would oh, yeah. dress up that's too. good that's good and that yeah, was yeah, nice yeah, yeah. S- similar-esque what was your theme? pumpkin? Uh, no we did cowboys Oh, nice. So we did like the West. So we had like a bunch yeah. of like, you know, Western. So we'd have like sarsaparilla and like. Oh, yeah. That's true. And like big, like, yeah. Controversial cool. opinion. Sarsaparilla is only good for four it's sips. so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you have it for a few sips. This is good. You, you have, have like the, really small so, sips. And yeah. then you're like, oh. And oh. the other thing we did, we like, we make like little dead or, dead or alive posters of everyone coming. That was yeah, really yeah, cute. yeah. That actually sounds very yeah, wholesome. And then I remember doing, yeah, different things like that. That was yeah. really nice. But anyway, yeah, that's nice. Well, I see you on the next slide. All right, that's what we're doing. So, Jono asked me to think of a less annoying way to do it. Yeah. This is the mid roll. This is the mid roll. <laughs> should we just pretend to be really sad? <sighs> yeah. I mean, should we just be normal? I'm so sad, Jono. Yeah. You know why I'm so sad? Why are you sad? Because the best I'm episode of the Committee Nods ever aired this morning it was, of it recording. Was, yeah, and those people that got it on Thursday because yeah, they yeah. were subscribed to the, the Thursday Spotify. fanatics. Thursday fanatics. They I'm, were subscribed you know, I'm calling to it that because it yeah. just works. They were f- fur and fur don't work. No, and I think but it's it works. excellent. Thursday fanatics. It's a good symbol of the show. We good. cram together shit that doesn't They're work. Just shove it, and right we say next to just each take other. it. So thank yeah. you to the Thursday fanatics. You know how they were how they were able to know that that podcast was up. They liked us. I don't. How do you? How did they, they know? They subscribed on Spotify, on Spotify and, and that Apple podcast. And also, please, I use Overcast. Um, o- nice overcast. Podcast. It was. It's been um, Overcast recently. Yeah. <laughs> Um, fuck, this I is sad, man. This is nah, depressing as all. We wow. really appreciate everyone who do it. No, we do. We we're, really do. We're, cu- we're closing in. This we're is closing the, in. This the third, third last. Final There's one. two more. There's two more. I don't know how 48 and 50 have three in between them, but they do. And well, 50 you know, we'll counts just live as with one. that. Yeah, that's too this confusing. This is the third one. Yeah. Wait, how is this? Oh, right. Yeah, I understand. See, it's, it's confusing. confusing. <laughs> Did you say 38? Maybe I think <laughs> I don't know. Lincoln. Anyway, Lincoln. like like and subscribe, like smash and subscribe. like, follow, we write really a review. Appreciate now we've got lots of stuff. Our reviews up. actually are allowed through now. Yeah, stuff so is coming up. It stuff comes through, and it seems to be coming through reasonably soon. Um, yeah. there's no holding period anymore. So. Get Stop. those reviews in For sure for We're not sure. going to give you anything Because now that you actually can show us a review We don't have to uh, We don't want to cough up So no. <laughs> Just do it because you love us yeah, And we, we love you We appreciate it And um, get ready for what Josh has told me Is the best segment he's ever done in his life next <laughs> Okay, you really build it up I just want to build it up myself But uh, It's time to get into that thing in Let's a do it Sometimes I'm just really, really awkward, Jono Yeah, you are <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, like, yeah, can yeah. I say can I say something on this before you yeah. jump into it? I don't know what this was. One day I heard you open the door to someone. I don't know who it was. Uber East driver or something. <laughs> you woke back and said to yourself, "Oh fuck, that was the most awkward thing I've ever done in my life." <laughs> Do you remember that moment? Do you remember what that was? Because I've been wanting to ask you for ages. I see you walking to your room just muttering, "Why the fuck am I like this?" Oh, that was fucking shit. <laughs> I think it was something do, along do the lines. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think it was something like enjoy your food. I said, yeah, you too. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I didn't bring it up in case it was something really bad. No, this let's was be honest. Months ago, here's, and I think about it is, every day. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> what you've described there is a perfect. 
perfect, the perfect kind of thing. You were so that's upset. That's gonna be where we're gonna get to with this, uh, yeah. in this podcast. Oh, that the was issue phenomenal. is the issue. Actually, that's a great lead in. Yeah. You see, I do a lot of awkward things. I mean, people are awkward oh, all the time. Yeah, I tend to be a little bit more awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, um, for sure. It all happens. Happens. But here's the thing. I don't. Think you go. Happens. You get into a spiral. I reckon an awkward it, spiral. It bounces because sometimes yeah. with normal people, I'm not like that. Yeah. And other times, I'm just sometimes I'm just in a mood. it happens, and, and, I, and I just go on and you on. Start and on. falling. And yeah. <laughs> it just goes bad, and then I say airport pop. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And so here's it. But the issue is sometimes the thing with that is. Mm. That Uber driver is going to go away, and I don't have to yeah. see this. Person yeah, yeah, again. yeah. That's true. And you know, and I, I mean, I'm not going to again. I'm not going to say where I work. Yeah, but it's a giant building. Give it a fake name. <laughs> I don't want well, to. No, it you, makes ca- me you sad. actually can't. Here's yeah. the thing. Here's the thing. It's a giant building where yeah. lots of people work. They come in and out every day. Yeah. People come in from interstate in and every day. I talked to you about someone who was yes. doing something you did. And they they were sitting in my seat, and that was an awkward time. I felt so mad. Your about. unallocated un- seat, I un- un- unallocated <laughs> seat. They have yeah. allocations, but no one uses the allocations. Yeah. Anyway, um, oh, do they really? No, there's allocating seats, uh, but like no one's gonna check it to actually see. If hey, that guy worked in it. GIS, all right. He's a good boy. Yeah, oh my god, he's a good boy. Anyway, so you know when you do these things, and you just. In mm. a situation where it's a short interaction where you're not going to see them again, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. When I have awkward to you, we laugh it off because we're two friends who because are just that's just how it just, be. That's how yeah. I am. We're yeah. both awkward. Let's be honest, I'm more awkward than yeah. you. But yeah, that's, but that's just how it be. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you do something and you don't think it's your fault, and I genuinely believe this is not something my fault, other than how I was awkward around. Okay, it. sure. But because I didn't, you shout on well, someone's desk. <laughs> definitely your fault. How did you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. because, but because of how, because of how organ, because I didn't play it off like I could imagine you would. Yeah, you just. Um, I, so my strategy: just I make see a this joke. Person yeah. now, all the fucking time, and my <laughs> life is ruined. Okay, 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 so okay. I live in a place where there's lots of deliveries, people coming in and out every day. You and, you work in a place. Yeah. Do you want to? Yep. Do, I mean, you've seen me go out for work. Yep. You've seen me come back from work. Yeah. What kind of things do I bring with me? What do I look like? You, Normally, you, plus or minus. You wear your 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 headphones over your I've headphones. Got my headphones or I have my uh, AirPods now. A, actually, a yeah. subtle a subtle bag. Subtle bag. I have a bag. Yeah. I'll be dressed in a kind blue of jumper. Blue jumper sometimes. Yeah. A, a shirt, plus or minus. Yep. However you see it. Yeah. I walk in to work always like this all yep. the time. Yeah. Headphones yep. on. Not always. Yep. But I try to take them off. On this particular day, on this particular day, I hadn't taken, I hadn't put my headphones on. Okay. Yep. Because yep. it wasn't entering. I was leaving for the day. Okay. So yep. here's what yep. you need to understand. I had stuff in my hands and I was like trying to organize myself. And you know when oh, you're like, no. you got something and you're oh, thinking, no. I got my bag on my back. I'm like, I got stuff to put in my bag. Okay. I see. I clock someone moving across the room, and like my eye sort of clock them. Yeah. I clock them, but I look them in the eye. Okay. And I'm like, okay, just some trying, random. And I, some, yeah, random. some random person. Yep. I go, I take my bag off. I put it on the table. I open it up to put something out. I take something out. I don't remember what I was doing specifically. Okay. Yep. And then I see this person walk up to me. Okay. They're approaching I, you. They're approaching me. And they go, and I'm like, hi, how can I help you? And they said, yeah, hi. And they, and I said, I'm Josh. And I had, I shook it. <laughs> my you hand. extended your hand? And then he Were goes, you holding yeah. something at that no, point? No, no, no. I had my hand. Okay. And he yep. goes, he goes, yeah, no, my name's this. And I'm like, oh, hi. And we shake hands. I'm like, what do yep. you do? He's like, yeah, I'm over there. I'm like, and I'm, and I'm like, oh, that's great. We sit there for a minute. Oh, and he goes, no. Have you got something for me? I'm like, no. Oh, that's. Oh. So he's expecting something. He was from expecting you. me to oh. take something out of my bag like I'm a. Oh, courier. Person. Courier. It is, they do. I've got the, a similar bag. They do call them, what, like courier bags? I think that's what they a actually cu- call that them. That's not a courier bag, though. That's oh, the so bag you I were had. backpack. You were I backpack. was wearing, I had a backpack. Ah. And they th- and they thought I was giving something to them. Now, Do you have I something walk- for me? That's such a weird thing yeah, to no, ask but someone. They, they asked me this. Now I walk past my day, walk through my day, walk through my office, and now I know this person sits on the other side They're of the office of me, yeah. and they look at me and like, who is this weird person that just puts this bag on the de- I, on I this think- table? And I'm walking, I like, I can't, I can't, because I see him every day now. Yeah. Every time, I, I saw him today, I was leaving the bathroom, <laughs> yeah. and he was on the other side of the door for me as he was coming in from the bathroom. Oh my God. And we had a face-to-face moment. Did you say anything? I said, and I didn't say anything, and then I quickly I got out. I've my my life in the office there, is ruined. There's, there's two things to this, right? Okay. There's, there's there's two things that we need to bring up. Okay. The first of all, now the first plays into the second. The first thing is 
I think he created the awkward situation. Yeah, of course, but he, I, he made but the awkward I situation. Made it so, worse. Uh, he'll be. That's the second thing. He'll he'll be thinking about this more than you, I reckon. <laughs> How did you deal with it? That's the thing. That's I, what needs to be I, said. I, I just let because no, knowing you, anything. I feel like you would go uh, 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 and disappear. You and basically, that's you fucked. basically, you if basically, you do, that's so bad. Yeah, you basically yeah. nailed it on the head. What happened? I was like, yeah, that's. Uh, I went. I that's went, the awkward part. I went like. Yeah. Uh, Oh, oh, uh, no, I, I don't. And then, and then yeah, I put my back yeah. up and I walked off and I left. I'm like, what the hell did I just do? See, how I would have dealt with this situation. Can or I guess, how what, I can think, I guess yeah, what yeah, you yeah, did? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I'd be like, you. So you, I'm, the, I'm the guy. Oh, you be the do, guy. You, do you have something for me? Oh, yeah, I got something for you, mate. It's right here. And they just pull out some red stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. What do you think I was asking? Oh, no, I'll just put my bag in my ear. What worry. I was going to say is pull out either something expensive, like a laptop or like a nice <laughs> pair of headphones. 100%. Or like, I knew it 100%. 100%. Or like your leftover lunch. Yeah, 100%. Like one of those two yeah, things. Here you go, mate. Do you have Here's something for me? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do actually. Here's like <laughs> one half-eaten falafel. <laughs> I knew this is exactly yeah. how you would. I just, I don't have that in my, I don't have that in my bones sometimes, John. I think my body, I've been thinking about this recently, has developed it as a defense mechanism. Here's my I'm thing. Because I'm so socially awkward, I just, my brain has become quick thing. with I jokes. I don't think that, it's weird because I think that in certain conversations, I'm, I'm definitely have that element. Yeah. But, but I think what when it does, you have the flaw excuse, intentionally. Excuse, yeah. Excuse, I probably have it like maybe forty percent of the time. I yeah. think I'm fine. Yeah, or maybe if I'm in the right position, yeah. I'm probably it's, up to like. It's 80%. If you're creating the situation, or you're on home turf, hundred percent. If someone throws a curveball at you, that's when the awkwardness oh, starts creeping it's in. That. But not always. But most of the it is that yeah. is when that's when the the it's like it's like it might not happen, but the chance of it actually. The awkwardness occurring is yeah, high, yeah. But then it depends how it fo- f- it's, folds out. It's, right? the, it's the danger zone, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, I hope you never have to see that guy again. <sighs> and uh, I saw him today. I tell you when you'll see him on the next slide. That's right. I got into a situation. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tell me about your situation, mate. <sighs> it was way back in the when. It was okay, last sure. year. Oh, last year. Last year. Last year. So it was the beginning of 2021, which was the beginning of my, my final year of uni. Okay, right? sure. And yep. I was in a situation because in order to graduate, I needed work experience. Right, okay. And like a yep. lot of it. I'm not talking like one week and paid $5 an hour. Right, yeah. I, th- I think you needed like 40 days or something. That's so a was, decent amount of time. It's chunky. It's like right, a, yeah. lot, a lot of hours. It's essentially right, yeah. you need to work full time for like six weeks or something. Yeah, okay. That, that's sense. what it is. Semesterish time. Yeah, pretty much. Time, pretty much. Quarter. What do you yeah, yeah, call? yeah. So- Yeah. We'll get we'll get in a bit stressed because yeah. you're meant to get it done in third year, but third year notoriously was lockdown. Right, that's when 2020 lockdown hard came. hard to really do it. Then you, you couldn't do it. All the all the sciencey engineering places just for went, those nah. at, for those at home. At, is this later in the year that you're having this time? Well, this was at the beginning of the year. Beginning right? of the year. Okay. Lockdown came in and all they all went nah, We're not yeah. doing it. We're not doing it. I'm like, well, that's bugger, no, because this no is the good. moment. Later in the year, they started like coming up with these things. But right, the problem yeah. was they most of these places, if not all, only accept penultimate year, so third year. So if right. I'm going into my fourth year, they go, well, fuck you, your fourth year, we're yeah. going to get a third year. So this was a common thing. My whole year level, everyone was just scrambling. The vast majority- Even though they, How did they not know though yeah. that- it's, they, how it's they got big, to big companies don't give a shit. That's right, what yeah, the problem okay. is. And yeah, been there. honestly, a bunch of people in my year level are still dealing with the collateral Ugh. of that. A year later, they've Yeesh. just been able to get something. And it's a fucking mess because right. they're not supported for people who have like technically finished uni. They want you to be stunning. It's a mess. Right. Yeah. Makes I sense. was worried about this mess was going to happen. So I, w- I was talking to one of my lecturers and thankfully I did all right at uni. So they were willing to help me out. Right. Yeah, He's like, right. Jonathan. I got a job. I, I I think I got a job for you. I'm like, oh, thank fuck. Very nice. Because I was so scared choosing my subjects. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do? He's right. like, it's all right. We'll get you this job at the start of the year. Take it easy throughout the year. You'll be sweet. I'm like, okay, good. I've, I've been worried about this for three years trying to get mm-hmm. something. Yep. I finally have something. He tells me about the job, right? Right. He's like, there's this surveying company. They've recently bought a drone. They're going to need someone to process the imagery and stuff. Okay. And I'm like, that's fucking doable. Perfect. Super doable. 100%. I'm going to do that. And it was in Tullamarine 
And okay, it's not giving yep. anything away. It's in Tullamarine in like an industrial area, right? So this is sort of in those big fields, right? Um, this was just in like the industrial area yep. okay. where yep. all the all the big buildings are yeah, and yep. stuff. But it's okay, like, that it's makes shit. sense. There's nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just industry. Yeah, hundred percent. And so I, I went out there. I drove out there, and it was hot as hell. It was like forty degrees. Is so this I'm start just of the year? Sweating. Right? Yeah, the start of twenty twenty. Oh, yeah, I'm absolutely sweating. And I walk in, right? And I'm wearing a mask because this is like lockdown and, yeah, of course. and everything. We're all wearing masks. And I like, so start of 2021, um, I walk in. Yeah. And for sure. First red flag, none of them are wearing masks. Oh, and this no. is like peak thing. And he's oh. like, oh, if you sanitize your hands, you don't have to wear a mask. I'm like, okay. Interesting, interesting logic yes? to follow here. I or think I kept you? it on. I think I would yeah, have kept yeah. it on. Um, all these right, like trader yeah. guys. I'm like, you know what? Let's just be safe. Let's be safe. Yeah, so no one's going to say no. Yeah. They're just going to look at you weirdly, even though that's it right. Was probably the right thing. Yeah, to do. yeah, yeah. So yeah, of course. People sense. were looking at me weirdly though, because these are all like big tradie blokes, oh, right? Oh God, no. Like, there's a couple of surveys, but most of these guys were just like doing, I don't know, digging holes and shit or yeah, whatever. Of course, I don't even as know. They do. But they were massive. They're all wearing their like orange gear. Yeah. Like even the orange jackets and stuff. Even though it's like a big million heavy degree. Ones? Yeah, 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 that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And like the boots that are bigger than my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all wearing them, and I'm wearing. Probably like chinos and I've got my glasses and I feel yeah, like yeah, a yeah. dingus. So yeah. people are like, who the fuck is this guy? And I'm sweating, I'm nervous. Who's this weird I'm probably talking boy. like this. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I go into his office and I'm fucking shitting myself. And he's like, oh, I'll get Brayden. And he goes out, fake name because I don't remember yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, oi, Brayden, mate, I've got someone here to talk to you. And this was boss man. I'm like, wait, why is it getting Brayden? And this guy comes in. He's like, oh, this is Brayden. He doesn't have a degree, but he just hangs around here, helps us out from time to time. I'm like, okay, cool. Why are you like, giving, yeah, why are you telling him to yeah, talk to he's me? He's like, oh, he's going to lead the interview. I'm like, what, what the fuck? Brayden didn't even know about Braden. this. <laughs> so Brayden sits down. He's like, oh. Hi, yeah, cool. Brayden was an ex-surveying yeah. surveying student, didn't make it through. He now right. just hangs out at this surveying office. As he does. And he was meant to be interviewing me. From anyway. freaking Jerry, he was going out. <laughs> yeah, Jerry sat there, right? He's like, let's just finish watching the tennis. He's got the tennis playing <laughs> in his office on a, on a TV. Of, I can tell this course. guy has wanted oh. to run his own business so we can do yeah, no 100%. work. We're sitting 100%. at this table that's like a one-person table yep. and there's like three of us at yeah, it. Yeah, it's weird. It's that's still weird. still literally got like a can of Fanta on it oh. and it was Fanta. I don't okay. know why, but it stuck and with me so my sticky. whole life. Yep. And that we're just, just really sticky. sitting there and dead set. The game had like barely started. Oh. I reckon like 20 minutes, half an hour watching the tennis. <laughs> And I thought that was the interview. They just see if you're a good guy kind of right, deal. Yeah. And I, I think he forgot I was there. And they were just <laughs> chatting about tennis. And then he was talking about how he went on this trip to, to I don't know, Spain and watched Nadal play or something. I'm like, uh. what, what is going on or whatever? And uh, straight away, I'm like, well, I'm not accepting this job anyway. Like, yeah. what am I meant to do? Am I right. meant to walk out? And he sits down. He's like, all right, so you're, you've got your surveying degree, yeah? I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, absolutely, that's not what this situation is. A, not a surveyor. Not a surveyor. B, don't have the degree. This is work <laughs> experience. Right, yeah, 100%. I'm geospatial. Do you know How, what? Who gave him the information? Yeah, yeah the Wait fucking head of the degree. <laughs> what the like hell? The big daddy Gee. who gave me the award, that guy. He, what the he hell? He referred me. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah. Also, this dude has to have like have some kind of family connection to this bloke or something. Yeah, gotta There's be. no way. Gotta be. There's gotta be a reason. I reckon the guy's like, we need cheap labor. Brother, help me out. And he's gone, I got you. I know a guy, right? Yeah. I know a guy. So. And then he's like, well, why are you here? Why do you fucking think I'm here? And so you tell him? Yeah, so I'm like, oh, because the guy's name, big boy, big, big, boy, big, big head, head lecturer big boy man, name. told me that I could be a good good fit for this. He's like, well, you don't know how to survey. I'm like, well, yeah. That's, yeah I'm not even I'm not a surveyor. <laughs> of course I don't know how to do it. And he's like, oh, so you expect to work and study at uni at the same time? Yeah, it's work experience. That's what it that's, is. That's what I've been promised. And he's yeah, like, 100%. well, do you know how to do any calculations? I'm like, no. That's, no. Uh, no. I, I, do, I do not know how to do I any know, calculations. I know, I've got to do a mean spreadsheet, yeah. mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. He's like, oh, I hate spreadsheets. And he's like, oh, I guess we could get you out in the field and you could just like help with the gear and stuff. I'm like, mate, I will do anything. I will do anything. And then at, at the that end- point, does that still count as work experience? I'm like, as long as it counts. As long, right. as long as I can get that signature right. on the sheet, I don't give a shit. I'm like, I will do my time if it means I can graduate, <laughs> yeah, that's right? nuts. And I'm like, oh, okay, Jesus maybe, Christ. maybe. Anyway, 
he kind of ushers me out of the office. We go down and then he goes, all right, so like how many hours do you need? I'm like, oh, it's like 40 days full time. He's like, I can probably get you maybe like five or six hours. I'm like, oh, like like a week. He's like, oh, like just this is like a, like a one-off if that helps. I'm like, what? No. That's no. not what the deal I, was. I, I, I don't, I don't I'm think so that's what I'm so confused what information yeah. did this guy get. Did this guy get a message that was just like, hey, friend, I need help. Yeah. Jono. Yeah. Work experience <laughs> time. <laughs> and he was like, the, how I think it went, I reckon he's gone. I need cheap labor. I'll try and get a, like a uni student who's like unemployed or whatever. So he's emailed the big boss man at the uni. Big boss right. man at the uni has gone, you need a job. You kind of know what's going on. I'll tell him. And then he's, yeah, gone. Oh, I'm Jesus assuming I'm Christ. getting what I want. Anyway, nuts. that was good that that didn't work out. Yeah. I mean, mate, we went that whole semester, whole final semester with nothing, not knowing what was going on. Jeez. Last semester, two days before semester starts, I'm like, okay, I'm not graduating. It's just not going to happen. It's impossible. I yeah. get a message on Teams from one of the, the lecturers going, hey, can you help me on my research project? It'll be and this d- many hours. Before. I'm like, yes. And you're like, yeah. does this count as work experience? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, I ended up just helping write articles and, nice. and stuff and go. got through. But holy fuck, oh. I'm glad I didn't Glad you didn't go to freaking Dick Jerry Dick Whitt- Dick Whitt- and Brayden. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm sure they listened. So thank you very much. And yeah. we'll, uh, we'll see you on the final slide. Let's go. I hope you finished eating your dinner off your plate after listening to episode 48, 48 of, of the, the Comedian. The jokes are getting better and better. Honestly, we're going to do it We're going to start this, uh, the outro with a segment we came up with last We did it last, last, time. Sec- last podcast. A, a recommendation because it's just a nice thing to have. Yeah. We're, we're going to do an album each. An album and then, each. And then a TV and show. And a TV show each. It's a little bit of homework because I 100%. know everyone's busy, so people are constantly looking for things to yeah. do. Is that how it works? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Want me to hit you up with my my recommendation for an album? And chuck the album on after. You're listening to this probably at work or on the oh, train or whatever. Just listen to it. It's a 40-minute show. The album? You've probably got 15 minutes. What, what album, album should you just do? Yeah. The album is called White Pepper. Yeah. By Ween. Oh, Ween. You're, is this a different Ween album to last time? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Sure. White Pepper by Ween. What kind of music is Ween? It's Ween. That's exactly what it is. Oh, cool. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Does he have a bigger Weener than me? Well. Probably. It's probably almost, almost mathematically impossible they, not to. I mean, if there's multiple people, then, <laughs> then if you add them yeah. all together, they've got a bigger one than well, you. Well, talking about someone who definitely has a small Weener, I'd actually like to recommend a Jack Harlow album. <laughs> <laughs> Come home, the kids miss you. Honestly, great. Never listen to Jack Harlow. I'll give it a I, listen. I thought Jack Harlow was a stuck up TikTok kid, and he probably is. <laughs> but this whole album is just yeah, talking about sure. how his career fucking exploded. Now he's just stuck touring and he's sad. Oh. And, and, and all his friends and family sad are sad. Sad tour albums. That was, you gotta love them. Oh, you gotta love them. People Girl, are like. Joji? I remember, Joji's got some good yeah, ones like that, that as well. That's true. Lewis Capaldi was talking about this. He's like, no one wants to hear sad, famous people. I'm like, yes, they do. Yeah. And they're pretty like, fun. You do. Shard and Florida. It's yeah. a thing. Yeah. My, 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 uh, my uh, TV Your show TV I'm going to recommend. Yep. It's called Our Flag Means Death. Mate, you come up with some of the weirdest <laughs> shit. Our Flag Means Death is by. Um, uh, Reese Darby, who's a New Zealand guy, and he does this thing with it's with Taika Waititi. Yep, it's really good. It's by pirates and stuff. Where, like can, where can you watch it? I don't know. Go figure it on out on the dark You're web smart. somewhere. Go find yeah. it. I think it's on yeah, binge. That's actually a good point. People are always like, "Oh, where do I watch it?" I don't Fuck know. It, look it up. Google it. You have to Google it anyway. Google it. My recommendation: There's a chance you watch this, or at least Is heard it of the it. Office? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this Dorothy. really indie TV show. Yeah, you might not know. Tonight, it. Tame and Pal is just one guy. <laughs> um, it's called Fisk. Fisk. And it's Kitty Funny oh, TV Fisk. show. Yeah. Fisk is so good. It's essentially a really awkward lawyer just being unapologetic. I can relate. Herself. Exactly. Because you're a lawyer. Um, yeah, that's the bit. Absolute wonderful show. Watch it on iView. Oh. Because it's classy. No, you know what? And there's no Google ads. Google it. Don't blank that out. <laughs> Google yeah. it. Tell them to Yeah, go- Google it. Anyway, I don't think we need the recap. You don't fuck think the, so? Fuck the recap. Do you know what, Jono? Screw so. you. We did Josh's three things. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a great new segment. Yeah, We're sure. going to give it the time of day. And now I started the, the recap. <laughs> I think the recap's What good. happened after that, Jono? We talked about how Halloween's just oh. a bit weird, eh? Speaking of awkward, after that, we talked about how I'm awkward and how I've ruined my office. Yeah, you have. I have. It's all going to collapse. It's so bad. They're going to implement I'm gonna leave. working from home just so no one has to see you ever again. <laughs> 100%. And then we closed off um, talking about an interview. Oh, my God. That's the worst interview ever. Definitely the ever. only interview that's been, been going on, but yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck, it was bad. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Jono. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I really like how we... You know, we always hit the right buttons and everything. I, I thought it was the red one. You, can I just say, you were going so well. I was so That's the only twice. thing you fucked up today. Uh, anyway, we'll see, see you in episode guys. 49. <laughs>